this video has nothing to do with horses. Hi everybody, Carolina Risotto here, reporting to you from New York City. We're about to visit an installation at The Shed by Argentinian artist Thomas Saraceno. This dude spent like the past 10 years studying spiders and created this exhibit where you basically get to simulate what it's like being a spider, being like on this crazy web where you feel the vibrations of the world as if you were a spider. He also brings awareness to pollution and how that's affecting these spiders environment. Really crazy stuff. So let's go get started, but don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to give this video a thumbs up. Thomas Saraceno's Particular Matters is a large scale exhibition with spider webs, air, and the cosmic web. Available at the Shed in Manhattan until April 17th, 2022, the exhibit includes an eight minute long immersive experience where you go into a mysterious empty white room and walk onto a floating web like floor. You can choose to be on the lower level at 12 feet above ground or on the upper level at 40 feet high. It's definitely more surreal to be on the top floor. It's where you feel the most vulnerable. As soon as you step oh into God. the room, you notice how bouncy crazy. the floor is. Kind of like a trampoline. This immediately makes you alert. Notice the bounce. High bounce. Everybody bounces. <laughs> There are microphones placed around the room which capture every sound you make, every word, finger snap, or movement, which creates an immediate connection between everybody in the room. Once you find a spot you're comfortable with, you lay down on the web and wait for the experience to begin. From there, you spend eight minutes in total darkness, nearly blind, much like a spider. During the experience, you hear and feel vibrations produced by spiders building and interacting with their webs. We also feel muffled voices and city sounds. Since I couldn't see, I had to use my other senses to interpret what was happening around me, which made me a lot more alert than normal. It's as if I was reconnecting with my primal instincts of survival. I was suddenly small and fragile, and no longer part of the dominating human species. By the time the experience ended, I kind of felt like a spider. Even the way I was walking through the net on my way out was different. Somehow, I started empathizing with what it must be like to be so small and vulnerable all the time. The next part of the exhibit was mesmerizing. Within darkness, you walk through floating sculptures of spider webs like I had never seen before. For a while, I even questioned if they were real, because I had never been in an environment where spiders get to expand and thrive like that. The biggest spider web I had ever seen until then was in a dusty corner in my kitchen, probably. This is absolutely crazy. This is mind blowing. Like the feeling I get right now looking at this is that we take spiders for granted, okay? We're not giving spiders the value they deserve and we're messing up their ecosystem with their fucking human ways and we can't do that. And that's all this room is. It's just a bunch of spider webs all around. I'm absolutely fascinated. The rest of the exhibit shows more information about climate change and our role in it as a society. These paintings or drawings right here actually made from pollution 
extracted from the air in Mumbai and it's reproducing images of cosmic dust from a 1982 special from NASA. It's crazy that this is like a physical representation of what we're breathing. Pollution is all around us. It brings you awareness to how much us humans are impacting other creatures' environments. These arachnids are just one of the many overlooked species which are completely vulnerable to us, and it's our responsibility to protect them. The biggest lesson that I had from this exhibit, which is something that I already believed in, is that we're all energy, we're all vibration, and the energy that you put out there, it impacts other people as well. And you have to be very aware of what you're putting out there because that energy comes back. And all of us creatures, you know, not just humans, we're connected, you know, it's like a global network of living beings. We humans need to be a little bit less egocentric and think about the other creatures that are around us, like the spiders, the dear little spiders. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content about culture, travel, getting out of your comfort zone. Also give this video a big thumbs up, guys, because the algorithm loves it. Don't you want to give that amazing, likable vibration so the universe can give me more subscribers? Yes, you do. And I want you to here watching my videos every Wednesday, okay? All right, guys, I'm Carolina Risotto. I will see you next week.